What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Bloom Creative Company YouTube channel, a place where we want to help you manage your site in the easiest way possible and give you some strategy to help you level up. So if this is your first time here, thank you so much for being here. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for all the feedback you all have been giving us because it is helping us produce more content that is what you all want to see. So do me a favor, keep sharing the videos and keep liking and providing comments so we can keep coming up with great stuff. So in today's video, I wanna just talk really quickly about offer codes and discounts in the shop feature because there, it is very easy to set up discounts, one-time discounts or multiple discounts for your customers so that you can keep them active and engaged in your email list. So I wanna walk you through a couple ways that you can do the discounts and the offer codes in your shop. So let's hop on a screen share. There are a number of reasons that you could be adding a discount code. You might be launching your business and you're trying to build some momentum. You might be wanting to grow and have a referral program or push an item that's maybe out of season or that you have a lot of stock of. There's so many reasons why using discount codes can help bring in more sales. Now, I generally am not a fan of discounting too much because we should all stand behind the value of what we're offering and be confident in that and charge what we feel is fair. But every once in a while, it does help to have some sort of a discount or rewarding the loyalty of people that have bought from you consistently, um, depending on what space you're in. Obviously, when you are selling a product or retail or anything, discount codes are super helpful. You, you may want to do this if you have like a membership and you're offering a month free, something like that. There's a lot of workaround ways that you can utilize a discount in kind of non-traditional retail type situations. But I want to dive in and just kind of show you how easy it is and how to properly set up a discount code. So we're in commerce here and we're going to click discounts. So here, if I had some set up, they would all be here. You have your active, your scheduled, your inactive. And if I hit the plus, this is where we're going to get started. So let's say I'm launching a coffee company and I'm selling my coffee and I want to do 10% off for the first 100 people that buy. So I'm going to name it. And I would recommend being super hyper specific here because this is what is going to be listed in your archive. So you can go back and look at the statistics, how many people used it, how well it worked, you know, anything like that, because it's always good to have da data on what you test and try. And then that way, you can use what works in the future, right? So maybe product launch or coffee launch. So here under the trigger, so either you are going to be sending out a discount code. So whether it's people that have purchased before and you are sending your email list, hey, act today, 10% off, or it's an automatic discount that is towards your whole shop or a product, and we'll get into specifics here in a second. So let's do a discount code. We can call it launch 2020. Awesome. Now under promotion, we can make this a percent off, an amount off, or free shipping. So if I want to do, you know, a 10% off the first 100 people, like I said, we'll put the 10% here. And then you can get super hyper specific and have it apply to any order, orders over a certain amount, a single product or products by category. So it's really cool that you can get super robust and kind of fine tune those details to have them be what you want them to be and be very specific. So we're going to do it to any order because we're launching our business and we are going to limit to the first 100 people. And then you can also limit it per person, which is awesome. I'd have to upgrade if I wanted to do it. And then you can add a time frame of when it starts, when it ends. So maybe this is your first week or first month or a Christmas sale or, you know, anything like that. And you, or you can have never expires. So these are all, this is how you would basically set it up. These are all the criteria that you could put in. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Now, Maybe we want to level this up, and there is one feature in here that I want to show you, and it is under the abandoned cart recovery right here. So you would enable it here. 
When you head over to customer notifications, this is where you can customize this abandoned cart recovery. So everything you edit here will reflect over here as an example. This is a great opportunity to get someone back in after they left. So if someone gets to the point where they've entered their email address in the checkout process and they leave your site, you well, you have the option to automatically send an abandoned cart recovery email to them. And this is a really awesome opportunity to get the sale back. So you can offer free shipping, a discount code, you know, anything that we had just set up in the previous step. This is a wonderful way to get their attention, to get them back in. And this is how you would, you know, manipulate it here. Now, I want to go through really quickly a couple steps to make sure that you've set up properly your shop, because if you don't do a couple steps, then your shop won't be functioning properly. So you want to make sure you have your payment collection method. These are the three different methods that you can connect in your site. Obviously, you want to uh, update your site to an actual subscription, but these are the three different payment platforms that they accept. And I, and for all three of these, Stripe is super easy. If you hit connect, it'll open up a new window where you'll just add, you're basically creating an account in the new window. You're just going to pop in your information, your business information, your checking or not your checking, your account and routing information, and it'll sign you up an account. PayPal, you're just going to log in and Square, you're going to log into your Square account too. So you want to make sure you have that set up. And then if you come down here to checkout and you scroll all the way down, you just want to make sure that you go through every single step. So if you're collecting phone numbers, if you need an, a custom form, you would click this and you can collect additional information from people. Scroll down again, your store policies. This is really important too. What is your return policy? What is your privacy policy, your terms of service? These are really important. I've had a lot of clients ask me if I have standard ones. I don't recommend that. I recommend finding something that represents your company and your industry, maybe even paying a lawyer to get your policies just so that you're, you're completely protected and that there is something in writing if something does go wrong, someone's not happy. You have it clearly written, clearly stated for the people that are checking out on your site. And then invoices here. This is important. You want to make sure you define the tax if you are adding tax. If you're not, if that's what you need in your business, that is your tax policies here. And then another really important marketing. This is not mandatory to set up your shop. But I highly recommend having giving someone the opportunity to opt into your mail, your email list, having, you know, everyone's email list of people that you've sold to that are interested, that know you, that have purchased your product and are happy. Having that list is like gold because you can reach out to your exact client that you know is interested at any time. And then if you are selling a physical product, make sure you add the shipping option because it would be such a bummer to set up your whole shop and then realize that you're losing money on your profit bottom line because you forgot to add in shipping there. So you would just add it in here. And then if you're doing USPS flat rate, you could select here depending on weight, or you can integrate with a carrier and uh, depending on the weight or package size, they will calculate it for you. And then as far as that, we have shipping, Taxes, you can add customer accounts if you want to. I don't have an upgraded plan, so won't let me show you walking you through this. But this is where you would add, set up the taxes, and you could pick you know, your state, your region, all that good stuff to make sure it reflects where you are and you're getting the appropriate tax. And that's pretty much it as far as setting up the entire shop. Um, it would be such a bummer to get through you know, these awesome steps of discounts, but if your shop is not completely set up, you will not be able to sell. So that is kind of a just a simple walkthrough of getting started. But as you can see, there's a ton of different tools in here as far as you know, wait lists or related products. This is something that you can turn on on your shop. So if your item is showing, it'll show something related in the same category or tagged a certain way in your shop when you're building out the shop items. This will show you 
those related items to kind of prompt more sales and more looks and going through your shop. So I highly recommend this too. Lots of things to upgrade on, so it won't let me completely show you everything. But as long as you check those basic steps between, you know, getting your payment met method in, the shipping, if you are shipping, and taxes and having those policies in there, that will ensure that you're set up for success in your shop. I hope you got a ton of value out of that and it's something that you can apply in your site today and just start making even more money on your commerce shops. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe because it tells YouTube that our content is what is helping people out there. So we've been getting great comments, great feedback. And again, I appreciate that so much from you all. But if you wanna see more of this, please like and subscribe. So that way we can get the message out there to more people and help more people and tell YouTube that what we're doing is really helping you. So thank you again for being here. I'm Elizabeth Muller, the founder of Bloom Creative Company, and we'll see you on the next video.